<laughs> Whoa. I, I got some money from that one video and I bought a light. Also, before this video starts, because I forgot to put this in the video, I'm the re well, I'm not. Because of the situation, we can't have phones at school anymore. We d we're not supposed to have them, but now they're doing phone checks, so yeah. All because this girl wanted to call sexual harassment. That wasn't even sexual harassment. Just because she wanted revenge. You can get in the video now. Spirit bomb. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Cool. Um, sorry this lighting's a little bit weird. Uh, it's, I look like a ghost. But, <coughs> so, um, I have a pretty weird story here. And basically, this is something that could have ruined my life. Or basically, my high school career. All because somebody didn't like me. Uh, it's actually what's going on right now. I'm currently suspended because of it. Because, well, the truth came out. But if it didn't, and if I didn't keep screenshots, I'd probably be expelled from my school. So, let's get into it. <sighs> so, recently, I broke up with my girlfriend, right? And this is all a true story. It is insane. I've been stressing and, like, it's it's been crazy. So, it all starts off on a beautiful Monday. I'm like, I go in class. Then, this is my this is my prop. So, there's this girl. We're going to call her she she um basically baited me this is what i'm saying so we've had like trouble in the past together as in like um i don't know if i can go in deep well yeah basically she did some stuff uh and i told her boyfriend and it was it was no good and she wanted revenge so th this is what she does so i'm chilling in class and we start talking and you know like I'm a dumb teenager and I shouldn't have done this anyways because I mean either way I was gonna get suspended if this got out but I mean it was it was just some you know grabbing on some thigh which is not good in a school setting so you know grabbing on our thigh or whatever and, and we're like talking and like it's not even like I mean this made me realize how serious people take this kind of stuff like thigh touching you, you better not be doing all that my guy um so that was fine, right? And then start talking to the DMs. And this is what saved me. This is the only thing that kept me from either being expelled or having to go to the alternative school. Um, so we're talking, and I'm like, she's like, what you want to do? And I'm like, I mean, we can, we can bang. We can do whatever. And, you know, I, I sound like a douchebag, but I'm sorry. <laughs> so that happens. And then later that day, the same exact day, she like switches the story up and she's like, well, you touched me in class today and I didn't want you to and, and I felt uncomfortable, or she didn't say uncomfortable, but it's like, I didn't want you to do that. And I was like, um, and if my principal would have like looked in these messages, I had like horrible like mannerisms, but the point is I was respectful about it. And I was like, uh, well, I told you if you don't want to talk like that, it's cool. And then she's like, well, I didn't want you to. And I was like, you know, that's kind of, um, so I'm like kind of confused, but I'm like going on. I'm like, well, if you don't want me to, then I respect that. And then she's like, well, then respect. I don't want to be friends. I'm giving you guys very summarized versions. So I was like, I be, if I did not, if I was not respectful in those messages, and if I didn't have a case with me, your boy would be screwed right now. I know I look like a ghost. Hope you guys don't mind because I'm starting to realize that pretty bad. And I hope this mic works like well. I hope you guys can hear me good. Um. But anyways, the next day comes. All right. And this is where like stuff gets like wild. But not I you know I don't even know that it's wild until the next day. So um, I get to class and I'm just like I'm just chilling there. Right. I'm, I'm not even doing anything. And the girl's like, hey. She's like, well, she's like, okay, I'm talking to her. And she, like, starts moving my hand. And I'm like, what are you doing? I, I didn't say that. But she was like, do what you were doing yesterday. And I was like, that is burning in my head. You don't understand. That direct quote just, it's burned. Like, do what you were doing yesterday. And 
that doesn't show up on film if if a girl somebody wants to like cut that out just as long as they have something on you that looks bad and you can't combat it if you have no proof it's over with so I do what I did yesterday and that is where I messed up see I noticed that a girl was like had her phone and she was like I can't take pictures I thought she was just gonna take selfies or something in the back of the class I was wrong um but she's like can't get in with the code I don't think anything above it until now until I'm, I literally had to think of every single thing I did and I'm sitting there and I'm like all right whatever and we're you know talking and you know handsy or whatever so um <clears throat> the girl films me now here's also the problem not only was I touching her but in the video she was like moving my hand away but it wasn't like a serious like stop it was like you know like I can't explain like you get what I'm saying like she didn't actually but want me to stop but in the video it's it makes me look bad and I had no thoughts of anything I was like alright it's, it's whatever I didn't realize any of this at the time that it was being filmed and I'm sorry if I'm being sloppy with telling you everything but it's just as it comes <sighs> So, next day comes around. Oh, not next day. This is another weird thing. Another weird part of it. She waited until, like, Friday to turn this in. And that's one of the things I brought up. I was like, like, why would you... If you feel sexually harassed or, like, if I'm, like, really messing with this girl's head, she would have... And also, she would have said something in class. Like, there was many... There's so many things that I brought up. Like, she could have told the teacher, been asked to move... But no, she gets it filmed and waits three days just for revenge, just to ruin me. Wow, I should have been sitting back here this whole time because this is way better lighting. So let me just go and back up. So, basically, I look disgusting and I'm so sorry. I mean, look at this hair. Let me let me do something. Whatever. Anyways. Friday comes along. I'm just chilling with my friends and, um... Kev geometry. I have an A in the cloud. I don't even know what it is. Um, I'm just sitting there. We're watching like Mad Max. And it was it was dope. I've never seen that movie, but that was cool. Um, so it's a good day. All of a sudden, it comes to around the end of the class period, and um, it's like, we need Tristan to office, eh? And I'm like, yo, guys, this is no good. And, she, and my friend, Kelsey, she's like, don't, don't sweat it. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably nothing. I start walking my way up there, and this is the, oh, oh my gosh, never have I been so scared in my life, um, because I thought I was going to get expelled on the spot, but this dude acted like I was pulling, like, 10 pounds of coke into the school, it was ridiculous, this guy, I walk into the office, oh, I walk into the office, and the lady's, like, in there, and I'm like, dang, what, and I'm like, this, is, this seems kind of serious, I go on, the, I go on the, um, place, and it's, like, one of the coaches, and he like looks at me and I'm just like what and he's like sit down I'm like what is going on here um he's and then he's like he like uh stares at me for like 30 seconds it probably felt like that uh but I mean it was a minute <laughs> so I'm just sitting there and I don't know what's about to go down what has happened what I got caught for and he just drops this he's like Oh, he's like, oh, it scares me even more. The dude goes, I don't know if I should just send you on home right now or drop you down to the sheriff's office. And I'm like, sir, what did I do? Like, I'm like, this is over. My life is done, though. Tell me what's up. And then he's, he's like, um, so you think it's okay to just start touching up on girls or something like that? And I'm like, uh, nah, what you, what you mean? And he whips out the phone, his phone, and, like, shows me this video. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this makes me look disgusting. This makes me look horrible. And I'm like, I, 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 it all hits me at once, like, why she would do this? What's going on? And basically, it, it there's, like, almost no combatant at that part. Of my, I start, like, crying, and I'm, like, and I'm telling, like, the, all the counselors around. And I'm like, and they know some of our history where, like, so basically, the reason she would want revenge, it's not just because of the fact that I told her about her cheating or whatever, or doing things, and then it's also like, the girl, uh, 
I think she thinks like I ruined me and my ex. Actually, there's my ex right there. Yeah, she, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. But she, I think she thinks like we ruined her life at school. Like we just made up lies about her or something. And I mean, I can't, I can't help that. I didn't do that, and she just, she's gonna think what she thinks. Um. So. I'm in there, and I'm like, guys, you know some of our history, because I've gotten in trouble for bullying this girl, and yeah, technically, it was wrong, um, <laughs> but, uh, it wasn't like bullying, by the way, I just want to clarify, it was like, you know, I said something really rude, and through the hall, I was like, kill yourself, stupid slut, fucking tie, something like that, we're not going to talk about it, um, okay, that makes me sound like a horrible person. But I'm just giving you all the facts. So, I'm sitting in that class, and I'm like, that might be one of the reasons she might want to get revenge. You know, I'm kind of, was like, you know, nah, I'm not too much of a bad guy. We're getting off topic. Anyways, <coughs> I'm telling all these teachers and everybody, they're starting to, like, they, they believe me, because, like, I mean, I'm crying there. Like, and I don't get emotional. Like, okay, well, I'm kind of emotional. But, like, this, this was, like, a big deal. And I'm like, no, I think, I'm like, Please tell me, am I going to get alternative school expelled? I can't get expelled. I can't get alternative school. I love this. Like, I, not I love this. I love the school is what I meant. So, um, I'm like, please tell me something. Like, we can't tell you. This is an ongoing investigation. And I'm sitting there. I am just, I'm scared. Like, I, I, I don't know what to do. And actually, the reason, well, I, okay, this is how it all went. They were telling me to not tell many people, keep it on the low, and I was like, okay, and this is Friday, I keep this on. Imagine having to, because, okay, the principal wasn't there that day, I was talking to the vice principal and stuff, and um, I had to wait all weekend to get, and it was kind of a good thing because I got all my stuff together and I was allowed to elaborate, but imagine sitting there, like I had my friend Noah, his, his channel's right there, he's he's dope, does some cool stuff, he's about to hit a thousand subs, but we're going over everything. I, I only told him, and I told two others, uh, actually, my ex, and I told uh, my friend Lindley. And that's actually the reason we're cool, because, you know, it's like they were, tell they were telling me they'd help me, they'd get my back, because I'm not like that, right? And I couldn't stress that enough, but the video just makes me look like, I mean, I am, and there's no way to combat it. So, uh, yeah, just imagine there, all weekend, my stomach just queasy, just turning, I feel like I'm going to get expelled from school and there's nothing I can do. And so, I start pulling up everything, dude. I, I act like this is a lawsuit. And I feel like it could have turned that way if, if there wasn't this evidence. So, a little, little professional boy. I look so disgusting. Can you give me a second? That's not even, that's not like nothing happened. Uh, I'm just naturally ugly. Whatever. Okay. Um. Back to the topic. So. Um. Here. Did I change earbuds? Cause it sounds louder. All right. So basically, yeah, that's better. Um. Where was I? So yeah, all weekend, stomach turning. I feel bad. And the only thing that really helped me was these messages where it was like, hey. Do you want to do anything, you know, bang or whatever, and she was down with it, and, and I was respectful when she told me she didn't want that, and also the dates didn't match up, and I just had so much on my, like, she had that video, which was the most incriminating thing ever, if I had the video, I'd actually show you guys, um, because, I mean, it's incriminating, but, like, I mean, I ain't, I ain't do it, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I get my stuff together, and it, it's crazy that like people can do this you know like claim sexual harassment falsely like people can actually do that with little like I mean it, I guess it isn't little proof but like without any like they don't take any normal steps you know like people can't they're not allowed to use logic because I found out like okay so when I was talking to uh, when I was talking to my principal well he said like by law um, they he can't do it. He wouldn't be able to do anything because, or he can't really change anything because sexual harassment works where it's personal. Like, they can claim if it's sexual harassment, if they feel uncomfortable, there's no, like, 
um, certain thing, you know, like certain certain limits of sexual harassment or what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's by what they say, and, and that's bad. I was like, and that was on the phone because my friend told he had called me before we went in, and I tried to give him my my statements, and I was I was like so nervous about going in but he said all right well you guys can you guys show up by 11 and i'm like bet we got this so after i told him you know like ev like not everything but like you know a good bit of chunk and i was gonna maybe show him some more stuff when i got there i mean i had print off the screenshots i mean i was ready for anything so we go in there and we're waiting um and i mean it's it's whatever you know you wait <laughs> Uh, boy, I prayed so much, like, like, you don't understand, like, I didn't know how or how I was supposed to get out of this, until she was hit with the questionnaire, uh, of why you would switch the story up, why she said, oh, hmm, I'll think about it, you know, uh, she had to basically admit that and I would only wonder, like, what her mom thought, because her mom was with her, where she was like, yeah, I tried to trap this boy. It's called entrapment. And, like, I, like if I was her mom, I would have been like, you really just try to do this? You really just try to, to mess with this kid's head and, like, ruin his life over revenge? And, it, I mean, it could have happened. So, yeah, basically, I got a suspension um, way better than something I could have gotten. If I didn't have this proof, if I wasn't respectful, I, it would have been over. So, remember, respect women. Uh, it's a it's a, a one meme, but it's pretty true. You gotta do that, or they will claim sexual harassment real quick. So that happened, and I've never been so happy to get this much in my life. Basically, I mean, I thought, I mean, I was making W's. I was posting on my Snapchat hashtag beat the case. I mean. <laughs> I was excited and yeah that's about as much as detail as I can go into I think uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that story and because it was pretty wild like this is like the weirdest thing I've had to go through in my life and honestly like I'm not a stressed person like I'm very stress free so something like this was crazy to deal with um excuse me. and yeah that is my story of being for sexual harassment my hair still looks dumb and I apologize that you guys had to stare at this this whole time maybe I could like throw Fortnite gameplay over it but I feel like that just kind of makes it gay so we're not gonna do that speaking of if you guys want to play Fortnite uh, my I'm gonna put my name right there you guys should add me and play with my me and my friend Noah plays but that's all we do like let's do that also follow me on my Instagram right there I post some banger pics, my guys. Anyways, uh, I guess I need to get into why I haven't been posting. Because literally I got that one good video. And um, then I just kind of... Well, actually I didn't stop immediately. But I feel like I could still be posting. I've just gotten lazy. But your boy is back on it. After this story goes up, I'm going to start getting back on the grind and posting more videos and going to more abandoned places. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my wild story. Uh, just make sure that you, you keep your, your, keep out for phones in class. Make sure you ain't touching unwillingly. If, if they try to do that, just, just bag off, because... Man, I learned such a big lesson from this. This is the biggest lesson in my life. Um, but yeah, that's about all. Thank you guys for listening, and keep up with the videos coming out soon.